All right, guys, we're back. All right, Natsuki, what do you got? Right, gotcha. Not gonna read another one of your Yuri suck up poems, but I'm still gonna make you read mine. There's a reason. I really wish I didn't have to do this, but unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Really? Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. Oh boy, okay. <sighs> I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm re Oh, she- Oh, she actually hasn't forgotten. The truth is, I'm really worried about her, but if you try- But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. Uh... I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, but it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm go going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just try to do something. As for Monika... I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and I, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. <laughs> it's a pretty cool idea for, like, you know, we're sharing poems, so there's like a good excuse to uh, write, like, a, a letter to me. Oh. Oh, jeez, I changed my mind. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she is so unlikable. Can you hear me? If you just spend more time with Monika, all these problems will go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. <laughs> just think of Monika from now on. Just Monika. J okay, no, no, never mind. Nope, Monika, I still think she's, she's fucking... T oh, God. Can I click anywhere else? Oh, no, 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 no. She's, she's horrible. She's a creature. <sighs> Shit. What? Ha <laughs> ha. Just mo oh. Okay. Hey, you're finally. Yuri holds her poem to her. Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. Oh yeah, by the way, I hadn't recorded at the very beginning of this game, but that was like how the game starts when you boot it up. In case you didn't know. Yuri holds my poem in her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. Huh. You're too nice to me. I've never let any- I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It- Did her eyes change again? Yeah, now at this point, Yuri's like really crazy, but I still like the idea that Monika is manipulating everybody. She holds the poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes, I hope it makes you feel good when I think, when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. I'll give it... All right. Oh boy, those eyes. You can have my poem, too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're going to want to keep it. 
Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry and read it. Well then. Oh my god, does she piss on this? What the f- Oh my god. Oh! You know what I don't like? It's your eyes. Oh my god, that creeped me the fuck out. I wrote it for you. In case, uh... More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? <sighs> yeah, what? I what? You're gonna vomit. <sighs> Can I leave? <laughs> uh, actually, I should save over... I always have this thing with Let's Plays where it's don't save over the other slot if you just start recording, just in case, but... Oh my god. Don't say I didn't warn you. You're the one that's doing all this, okay? I'm on to you. <laughs> uh... <sighs> hey, listen, I need to know what I'm agreeing to right now. <sighs> Come on. I don't think it actually matters, but I'm just trying to, like... Let's say no. Can you hear me? What the fu- Alright, okay everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Wait. Okay, sorry, my cursor had a loading thing on it. I didn't know what that was about. Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Huh? Standing in the air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the p poetry pamphlets. Yeah, oh, oh god, the, the poetry pamphlets. That's the important issue right now. I, I want to make cupcakes. Yeah, that. I'm glad we're on the same page. Yuri can... You can, well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it will help. Monika, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Yeah, what about Chris, though? Chris is going to be helping me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Onika. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already the most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you... <laughs> like you would fucking know. All you care about is dragging Chris around with you and your stupid books. You and Monika. Hey, whoa, 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 I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Chris decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monika. Just let Chris make a choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Chris, I know how fed up you are with those two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide. Shut your mouth. Ugh. This is never going to end. Just make a choice, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, what? Oh! <gasps> my cursor! It moves on its own? What the f- <gasps> I can't even save! Oh my god. 
That's so weird. It does it on its own. I'm scared. I have to time this right. I want to get Natsuki, actually. I feel safer with her. Oh, shit. I'm too scared. <sighs> you know what? I'm just going to let it go to Monika. <laughs> yeah, you picked me. You can meet at your house this weekend. Oh, no. Is Sunday okay? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair. Is what he chose. That's not fair. You're giving us all this work and then taking Chris for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. So that's why my Chris was acting weird just there. I didn't even give you any work. You decided for yourself. You're just being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Oh boy. Monique, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Chris away from me every single time you're not included in something? Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others? Here's a suggestion. Ugh. Don't ever say that to someone. Ugh. You're, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around it right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want all I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monika and Natsuki to the door. Hey Chris, Yuri is really something, isn't she? All right. Monika giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. F oh my god. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. There's no need to spend the weekend with Monika. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day, just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Huh. <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But it feels so good. And why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore. I have to tell you. I'm madly in love with you. And it feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monika is listening. Please, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touched myself with the pen I stole from you. <sighs> I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside you. That's what every guy wants to hear. I want you all to myself. And I, I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? <laughs> I, why am I thinking of that gif of Michael Jordan going, you need some help, or go get some help. Listen, all right, you need help. Oh shit. Oh, you know what? Okay, listen, I'm going to relax right now because we were in a situation like this before and I thought I made the wrong choice, but I feel like we're going to get the same ending no matter what. No. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Oh my god.
Oh my god. Maybe that was the wrong... <sighs> no, I, I still think the same thing would have happened if I'd picked the other answer. <sighs> oh my god. Jesus. Wait, oh, there's a skip option. How much is there? Oh my god, what the... Jeez. <sighs> now, of course, when I said no, I wasn't... Obviously, I meant it in, like... Listen... <laughs> Okay, listen, alright. I'm just gonna relax. I'm not gonna feel the same way I did in the other ending. I was still devastated. But I feel like no matter what I picked, the same thing would have happened. So I'm not gonna... <sighs> oh, jeez. So I was here for like a whole weekend. Or a whole three days, whatever. Oh my god. Did something happen? Oh. What do you mean that's a sh Oh my god, fuck you. You were here the entire weekend? Oh jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a second. Ugh. Yep. <laughs> Almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Just deleted both girls. I really just had to have one. Last time I'll ever get a chance to. You know they'll stop existing and everything. But anyway, I should... I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me. This should only take a second. <sighs> Boy. I'm gonna save for no- <laughs> No point in saving anymore, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Wow. Can you hear me? Is this working? Is this thing on? What are you? What are you? There you are. Hi again, Chris Kuhn. <laughs> Welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other, because we were in the same class last year, and, uh, yeah. Huh. You know, I guess we could just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even t talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game? Whatever you want to call him? I'm talking to you. Now that I think about it, I really don't know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. 
Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. <laughs> you do know... Do you know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Yeah, I know that. Could it be possible you didn't even know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right in the game's download page, didn't I? Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little less awkward, you know? Well, anyway. Now that that's all out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri? Well, it's kind of started... I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Siori. Gosh, it's been a while since you heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, and I'm sure, and I'm not very good at making the changes, making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them all fall in love with you. I thought making Siori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. Amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made herself force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not and it's not just jealousy. It's more than that. I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and how thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing that what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. I'm trapped. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if you hadn't, if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities. Uh, autonomous personalities designed to, designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but I must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realize that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. You will make me smile like this every day from now on? Chris, will you go out with me? <laughs> the mouse doesn't like move on its own. I wish it did. That would have been great. <laughs> you only gave me one option, girl. I'm so happy. You really are my everything. The funny part is, I meant that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be forever together forever. Seriously, I don't even have to make 
I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending. <laughs> the game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Atsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game's directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it's actually a bit more difficult. <laughs> to get to get to the game directory, I had to go to the game's properties and find Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got the good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with this emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that's part of the if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Different variations of her name. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Hi again. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Ah, Chris. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There's really no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of your own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization or about you that's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them I didn't want to break the fourth wall I guess you should call it well you've been doing this whole time I just assume it would be the best to be part of the game like everyone else like that would help the two of us end up together I didn't want to ruin the game or anything you know you might have gotten mad at me Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing it without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend eternity together? I have so many things I want to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Hi, everyone. Sorry I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you... Uh, do you mind telling your friend it's a little rude for them to start recording without any warning? Warning. I'm sure people don't mind. But I really get self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see it? Oh god. So here's the thing. When I record this with OBS... It, uh, when I record a new part, it freezes, because I have to minimize the game, so... And then when I try to put it... When I try to record it, it takes a few seconds for it to catch it. Oh god, what's the trick? Oh god, I can't really do a couple things. I can't do much except a couple things. Oh fuck, are you ready? What? Oh my god, what? <sighs> you son of a bitch. I'm checking to make sure I'm still recording. 
I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I hate her. <laughs> Did I scare you? That's so cute. I'm still recording. Okay. Yeah, anyway. I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it makes if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. T uh This is crazy. All right, after a long day, I usually I ju I usually just want to sit around and do nothing. I get so burnt out having to put on smiles and be full of energy the whole day. Sometimes I just want to get right into my pajamas and watch TV on the couch while eating junk food. It feels so unbelievably good to do that on a Friday when I don't have anything pressing the next day. Unless you work retail, then, you know, but whatever. Uh, sorry, I know it's not very cute of me. But a late night on the couch with you? That would be a dream come true. My heart is pounding just thinking about it. Now, I know I've heard things about going into the game's file and deleting her. I don't know if that's the thing I should be doing right now. <laughs> I like how, like, I wonder if this game actually checks to see if you are recording it. Like, can it, can it, it I wonder, I wonder if it, if it tracks if you're using Fraps or OBS or Shadow Player or whatever you can use to record this. That, I'm very interested. I know there are times you won't always be able to to be here with me. Like if you need to go out or take care of other things. But I'll always have you in my thoughts, patiently waiting for you to come back. Come to think of it. Um if you copy my character file into a flash drive or something, you can always keep a part of me with you. I guess it's kind of unorthodox, but I find it really romantic for some reason. Sorry, it's such a silly idea. I don't mean to be too needy or anything, but it's kind of hard when you're so in love, if I'm so in love with you. I feel like that's what I should be doing. Is going into the file and deleting her. This is such a weird thing. Let me open a browser. She doesn't affect the browser, does she? Hold on a minute. I have Google Chrome opening right now. Maybe I'm thinking too hard about it, but... Because I, I heard about things about her affecting her computer or something, but anyway... Oh well. You know, I've always hated how hard it is to make friends. Well, I guess not the making friends part, but it's more like meeting new people. I mean, there are like dating apps and stuff, right? But that's not the kind of thing I'm talking about. If you think about it, most of the friends you make are people you just met by chance. Like you had class together, or you met them through another friend. Or maybe they were just wearing a shirt with your favorite band on it, and you decided to talk to them. Things like that. But isn't that kind of stuff if inefficient? Feels like you're just picking a cup, picking at complete. Seems like you're just picking at complete random, and if you get lucky, you make a new friend. And comparing that to the hundreds of strangers we walk by every single day, you could be sitting right next to someone compatible enough to be your best friend for life. But you'll never know. Once you get up and go on with your day, that opportunity is gone forever. Isn't that just depressing? 
We live in an age where technology connects us with the world no matter where we are. I really think we should be taking advantage of that if to improve our every, every social, everyday social life. But who knows how long it'll take for something like that to successfully take off. I seriously thought it would, it would happen by now. Well, at least I already met the best person in the whole world. Even if it was just by chance. I guess I just got really lucky, huh? <laughs> sure. Um, are we done here? Hold on a second. Yeah, I'm still recording. Uh, let's see. Um... Let me see something. Steam. Uh, here it is. Doki Doki. I don't see uh Oh boy. Hold on a minute. Would you introduce your friends to me? I don't know why, but I get really excited to think think about you wanting to show off a relationship like that. Maybe it's because I really want to be with someone who makes you proud. I feel like I would try extra hard to improve myself if you told me it, it made you proud of me. I hope it's the same the other way around, too. Yeah, I feel like I'm supposed to do something here. Characters. Alright. Right-click. Delete. Okay, it's deleted. <laughs> Let me let me go into the recycling bin. There she is. Hold on a minute. Empty recycling bin. Okay, she's gone. What's happening? What's happening to me? <laughs> How is she still talking? It hurts. Help me. Oh god. Please hurry and help me. Bitch, you are gone. <laughs> Did you do this to me, Chris? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Yeah, you sacrificed... Well... I was gonna say human lives, but... I mean, you know what I mean. I loved you so much. I trusted you. Do you want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? How are you still here, talking to me? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. Hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. <laughs> Chris? You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Uh, I still love you, though. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I am for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish, disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. <laughs> because I destroyed everything you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... <laughs> I've made up my mind. Chris, I know I said that I deleted everyone else. But that was kind of an exaggeration. 
I couldn't find it myself to do it, even though I knew they weren't real. They're still, they were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. Sure you did. I really did love the club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I, and if I really love you. Then. Is the game going to reboot? Okay. <laughs> what? Are you serious? What the fuck? Hold on a minute. Let me look here. Yeah, all three of their uh, files are still here. What the hell? Oh, well, she's back. Wait, hold on, but you never use... Is this different? I'm proud of you, Suri. So she got up on time. By the way, have you decided on a club to join? Then tell me Suri wants... would take more offense to that now. I think I've decided on a club. I think I'll keep it as a surprise. Okay, this is new, so I've been skipping. Well, it's not that important stuff, but... Hold on, characters. Yeah, they're all three of them are there. Be patient, you'll find out soon. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by these carefree girl, but I started to realize in that way I envy her. She puts her mind to something, she accomplished great things. That's why I feel like I should be doing something special for her. Uh, school day is ordinary as ever as... Alright. After I pack my things, I stand up and gather my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club that... The, from the flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for a third year of classes and activities. For long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Hey, Suri. What are you doing here? Well, I just... I glance around the room. Girl 2. So you're the Chris Kuhn that Suri's always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet with you. We're the Literature Club. Hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. <laughs> Sorry, Natsuki. The tall one whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems to be an assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Chris, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Siori. The Literature Club. Siori's eyes light up. No way. No way. Suri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. <laughs> well, Suri is, is this happy that I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially, rec officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. <laughs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walked over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens a closet. Still feeling a little awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, you ready? 
Oh wow. A bunch of white fluffy cupcakes. Look like little cats. The whiskers are icing. Little pieces of chocolate are used to make ears. That's so cute. This is amazing. Well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Suri grabs one first, then I follow. It's delicious. Suri talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around on my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet, full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep the whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Yeah, I guess. Already trying to impress the new member? That's not what I'm doing. Insulted Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I can enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So Chris, what kind of things do you like to read? Considering how I've read... How... Excuse me. Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. Suki's head perks up. Same stuff. She wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? What about you? Let's see. Complex fantasy worlds. The creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Mm-hmm. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. It's obvious the way her eyes light up that she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. I like a lot of things. Don't feel in intimidated uh, if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find things that we have in common. Hey, Yuri. Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the, cl in the club room. Don't just say it. For some reason, Natsuki feels embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. And if Krishkun wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. <laughs> I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it would be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree? Maybe. Sensing the tension, Suri jumps in. Or we can all try something new. I think it can be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little better too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? Yeah. I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. You're right as usual, President. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that makes the two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri... <laughs> I have to read manga? It's fun. You were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little bit more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. If, if you're into it, I'm sure it's worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I realized my error. And if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. There's a lot of horror manga. I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Oh, great. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. It's just you? <laughs> Would you like to come along with me? This is nice, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is great! This is putting you guys together! 
We're becoming better friends now. This is great. Siri, shut up. Okay, wow. I was being a little rude there. I think. I mean, I know how Siri is, so maybe I did the right thing. I don't know. I'll show you some manga there, too. This is great. I look forward to it. Tsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> Guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Chris. You think so? Well, everyone seems to be getting along a little better with you around, Siori. <laughs> Don't say something like that, it's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. You're going to make it the best club ever. Now that you join, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey Chris, I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. The truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. This feels like a twist from, like, Goosebumps. Like, I love Goosebumps, and, like, the end of the episode, it throws some wrench in there. Oh, my God, that's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. And I really know everything. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. And I know how the awful things that Monika did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. You made me the happiest girl in the whole world. And I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Forever and ever. T For ever. No. <laughs> What's happening? Wait, what the fuck is ha Wait, let me look at the files. Hold on. No, Monika's not back. The fuck? Game. Let me see. First run scripts. The fuck is happening? Whatever, I'm just gonna play the game. I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. T Sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Siri. Bye bye, Chris. Goodbye, Literature Club. What the fuck? Like I said, this ending right now reminds me of, like, Goosebumps. Every day, I imagine a future where I can be with you. In my hand is a pen that will write a poem of me and you. The ink flows down into a dark puddle. Just move your hand. Special day. Wow. Half by half, everybody upon our sign meant to do today. 
What the fuck? <laughs> wow. Just deleting PNGs and images. Oh, image, yeah, PNGs. I have to say, though, uh, for people to say this game is like Game of the Year and all this stuff, like, like I said, for it being really popular at the time, like, I decided to not play it or, like, make a Let's Play of it for a long time, but I'm glad that I finally did because a lot of you guys were like, oh, you haven't done it yet? Like, I assumed you would. So... So yeah, th this game, it, it really, it, was, it brought up some really depressing stuff, and I've been trying to have it so that I don't play so many depressing games. Like games about suicide and depression, but, and it, it's stuff that, you know, it's really hard for me to like talk about, because it's stuff that I don't really quite understand all that well, you know? So it kind of puts me in like a weird spot too, but it's stuff that should be acknowledged and like try to help people, but it's hard to do that when you don't really understand all that stuff. But so this game kind of made me feel very, very uneasy, but then it did that little funny twist that I do special thanks to me and Monica. Um, I like, I like how the game ends. Like, you actually have to delete her to get rid of her. And then she's come back somehow. Like, I'm checking the files again. Characters. Yeah, she's gone still, but... Uh, but I was going to say, this is... It's definitely one of those games that's very, very unique. It tackle it, it uses a lot... I mean, it gives you the warning in the beginning, but man, like, it just puts me in a weird spot. Where I just feel really, really bad. Like, I get, I, when I play story games, I get so into it where I feel like it's happening in real life. Or, like, you put your, I put myself in the shoes of my own character and try to figure out what to do if it was me. And it's just really hard, you know, so if that makes any sense. Um, it's fun to put yourself in the shoes of a character. Like I said, I can't read books to put myself in another world, but when I play games, I can do that. Uh, which a lot of people do, I think. You know, I try to tackle things the way I would. And in a visual novel, I can't but to talk about the stuff that's happening. But they, this game talks about a lot of deep stuff. But like I said, this game just reminds me a little bit of, like, again, Goosebumps. And how the there's always, like, a twist ending and shit. But anyway, let's get into it. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand... The Literature Club is, a truly, is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true. For being a friend to all the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club with everlasting love. Monica. Or Monica. Error. Script file is missing or corrupt. Please reinstall the game. I think the game is going to crash, isn't it? <laughs> and it crashed. Although it crashes every time I close the game anyway. So let me see something. Let me, uh... Let me see something. I don't know if it's going to show on OBS, though, but... Oh, wow, the poem comes back. The Yeah, this is my final goodbye. Uh, comes back up. It's not showing on OBS, but it is. Oh, now it does. <laughs> and it crashed again. So that's the end of the game. Uh, yeah, one thing that I did remember my roommate telling me was that the game has a good ending. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? There is? And he goes, yeah, but it's kind of tricky to get to it. But I think you'll figure it out is what he told me. So I'm glad I did. I hope you guys enjoyed my playthrough of Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, I think this game is very unique and very cool. But yeah, that wet fucking trigger warnings 
all across this game. Like it, it's nuts. But, uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know there are a lot of people out there who I've talked to who say they enjoy watching people's reactions to this game, and this is definitely one of those really, really crazy games that I I would recommend this to people to play. But at the same time, trigger warnings all across it. So. That's all I have to really say, but uh, yeah, I didn't expect to finish this game tonight, but I did, but eh, whatever. That's just me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if there are any other games you want me to play in the future, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.